Hey, welcome to the Birdcraft Technology. Today I want to talk to you about career advancement as an ANP and the different certifications and stuff that you can get. A lot of AMPs and aircraft maintenances and even those aspiring to be don't understand that there's a lot of notches that you can get on your belt and there's a lot of little bitty certifications that you can do to make yourself stand out. Um, so you can get your AMP which is your aircraft mechanic license. After you maintain your AMP for three years you can get what's called an inspection authorization. We call it an IA. It makes you an inspector. If you're looking, if you're an avionics guy or you want to kind of strengthen the avionics side of thing, which is aircraft electronics, uh, you can get your FCC GRAW, which stands for General Radio Operator's License. That's a popular one. Um, we like to get the radar endorsement. Uh, apparently, the radar endorsement looks really good with the FCC GRAW. Now, that is a certification. The AMP is a certification or rating, the IA. Is a certification or rating. The FCCG RAW is a certification or rating, um, which you can get an endorsement to, which you would get the radar endorsement. So that's three. You can get the NCAT, that's the Aircraft Electronic Technician certification. And then there's endorsements for that too. The endorsements are the Autonomous Navigation System, the Dependent Navigation System, the Radio Comm System in the onboard comm safety system. So those are four endorsements that you can get to the AET certification. Again, a completely separate certification. You go and sit for the exam. There's something called a DAR. So through the FA, you can gain certain privileges on top of your AMP. A DAR or a designated airworthiness representative gets privileges granted to them by the FAA to do some things that have to do with paperwork and airworthiness and certification. But that's an additional privilege or rating that you can get, DAR. You can become a DME, which is a designated mechanic examiner through the FAA. Again, this is a rating or certification that you can get through the FAA, basically a job um, on top of being an AMP. And what being a DME allows for you to do, now if you recall when you go get your AMP, your aircraft mechanic license, it's three written and it's an oral and practical. To take that oral and practical, you have to go to a DME, a designated mechanic examiner. So that's what you'll be doing. You'll be uh, testing and giving oral and practicals to you know, aspiring and qualified aircraft mechanics that have made it to that point. Uh, I want you guys to know that in any operation, you can obviously become a mechanic, an inspector, uh, a director, and on to, to manage the operation, right? And then if you go work for a 145 repair station, this is something really unique. Instead of you, the individual, getting your certification, the company has its certification. And the certification is called a, a 145 repair station. You can be a aircraft mechanic, now extremely specialized, uh, for a 145 repair station, a company that has that rating, without ever getting your AMP. They give you what they call a repairman certificate. Again, I believe this is for very specific things. But nonetheless, uh, if I was going to become an aircraft mechanic and I wanted to start practicing as soon as possible, well, maybe I would go work for a 145 repair station and become a repairman um, while I gained the experience or went to school to actually become an aircraft mechanic and get my AMP. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things that you can get to set yourself apart from your peers and to make yourself more qualified and, and open and eligible to opportunity. Until next time, continue to pursue excellence.